Run OpenAI's new models on your own computer, private, offline, and zero dollars per month. I'll show you how to set it up in LM Studio in under 10 minutes. I'm Tim, founder of AI Operator. If you want faster iteration without sending data to the cloud, this is for you. We'll do set up a quick demo, tips for speed and quality, and honest pros and cons. I'll also show you when to pick 20B versus 120B. We're talking about GPT OSS 20B or 120B. These are the open source models of OpenAI. Download and open LM Studio. This is LM Studio. In LM Studio, you can go to Discover. In Discover, you will find all the open source models that you can download to your computer. And some of them are too big for your computer, and that's Fine, some of them are great for your computer. As you can see, we even have some of the Google models like the Gemma 2B, right? We have Gemma 3 and E4B. You can look at how big the download will be if you have enough space. You can read about the model and you can also understand if it's going to run on your computer. I suggest having at least 16 gig of RAM to run these. I'm running it on my 24 gig RAM M2 MacBook Pro. There are a lot of models to choose from, but I have chosen OpenAI GPT OSS 20B. If you don't have the model yet, you have the download now button, like we can see on the Quent3 coder, download, you see the size of it. I've downloaded already my GPT OSS 20B, so I can use it in my chat. After you've downloaded, you'll be able to use it in your chat directly. There is, of course, the 120B models as well. But as you can see, I get an alert right away that it's likely too large. It's large to download, but also very large to run on a 24 gig RAM computer. But the 20B model is going to be more than enough for me because this means that finally, I have a large language model running on my computer, even if I'm offline, and this is completely private and is completely free to use. Yes, you heard that right. It's completely free to use. Zero dollars. Wow. Incredible. With no internet. You could be anywhere in the world. I will click on use in new chat, or I'll show you if you've downloaded it, what you can also do. On the top here, you have select the model to load and you'll have all the models you've downloaded. Be careful what you're downloading. I will select OpenAI's GPT OSS 20B. It's going to load the model and you'll see your CPU usage, your RAM usage on the bottom right here. As you can see, that's increasing quite a bit. It's quite expected because the model is being now used. It's being loaded into LM Studio. And yep, so we're getting about 11.31 gig on the RAM. Right, and now there is nothing happening on the CPU, but you'll see that we're going to get some really good stuff now. I'm going to run something very simple, like a write an empathetic five bullet customer delay email, just to show you how it works. You have a reasoning effort as well, low, medium, high. You have here integrations. You also can upload files and do file attachments and retrieval augmented generation, which RAG stands for. And I will send this to the model. As you can see, OpenAI GPT OSS 20B is running. My CPU is fully loaded. Yep. And I'm getting the answers. That's really cool. This can be run completely offline. Don't forget that. All right. It's good to create a little template. That's more than enough. Amazing. Oh, good stuff. That was 14.31 tokens a second streaming. 367 tokens is used. 1.38 seconds to first token. Stop reason EOS token found. All right. That's cool. And that was completely free. All right. You can rerun it. You can regenerate message. You can continue assistant message. You can branch the chat after this message. You can copy it. You can edit it or you can delete it. This is really cool. It's completely offline. It's a large language model. Wow, this is superpowers. This makes me want to buy lots of massive GPUs and start a data center in my house so I can run massive models, not just large language models, but massive language models. I'd love to run the 120B at some point. We'll see. All right, let's try a few more use cases. Create a seven step outreach sequence for an AI consulting firm. My CPU has been loaded again, and here we go. That's awesome, nice little table. And here we go. That was 787 tokens and completely free running on my computer. Fully local, fully free, open source, GPT OSS 20B. And as you can see, you can continue in your chats. This is really cool. This runs on your machine. No API key, no cloud. Just install and load. 
Download LM Studio in the app search GPT OSS 20B. Click download. You need 12 to 13 gigabyte of space. Here's a tip. Close heavy apps. 16 to 32 gig memory machines work well. Minimum 16, as I mentioned. I'm at 24, so it works quite well. You've seen a couple of demos. Here are some fixes to common issues. If it's slow, use the 20B. Make sure to set the reasoning to low, medium, or high. Check other softwares. Like Chrome will use quite a bit of space. If you're using a browser like Perplexity Comet, which I have a video about that, incredible browser. If you get a messy output, ask for bullet points or return valid JSON. JSON is not a friend, J-S-O-N. Why local rocks? Privacy, offline, zero token cost, and fast iteration. Where cloud still wins? Biggest models, latest web data, fancy multimodal, 20B versus 120B. 20B for most laptops, desktops, great for drafts, analysis, prototyping. 120B for workstations, servers, best depth and consistency if you have the hardware. What should I cover next? Sub agents with cloud code or a guide on how I use agents now? Comment below your ideas and let me know how you're going to use the local model. Or will you use the local model? I suggest if you're interested in these things to try it out and learn how to launch local models on your computer. Because the future of AI is very, very interesting when we can run our own models. If you've liked this video, make sure to give it a like, subscribe to my channel, share it. Sharing is caring. Make sure to turn on the notifications. This was Tim Chucker, the AI operator. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Cheers.